Let me just see if it appears. Whatever chair is more comfortable for you. Okay. But we're going in the hallway to take your oh, x-ray. Okay, so. so I'll just sit in a regular chair. Oh, when we work on that, I'm just going to run through some medical stuff with you, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, any history of heart attack, stroke? In 2010, yeah. I had a minor stroke. Okay. They didn't place you on blood thinners, anything like that? No. But no history of heart attacks? No. Any other yeah. heartbeat? Took forever. No. Yeah. Any history of asthma, COPD, or sleep apnea? No. None of those. Okay. And thyroid. Uh, Do you take thyroid medication? Yeah, levothyroxine. Mm -hmm. Did you have your thyroid removed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you have your thyroid removed? No. no. Okay. Just low thyroid? Just after my... Uh, my well checkup, she came up with that. Okay. Any other medical condition? High blood pressure, high cholesterol? Um, high, I take something for high blood pressure. Okay. Metaprolol. And then you take hydrocodone? I do. As needed? As needed. Okay, for what? I've had three back surgeries. Okay. And one, two, three, I think four knee surgeries. Okay. Any complications with those surgeries? No. Oh, right. Dropping all kinds of things. <laughs> well, there's enough there. <laughs> no history of, you don't have diabetes, anything like that? No. Okay. Perfect. And you don't smoke. No. Or vape? No. Alcohol use? No. 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 Illicit no. drug use, marijuana use? No. Perfect. Do you want to come with me? We'll sure. go get this x ray started, okay? Oh, yeah. yeah, um, you asked if there was complications. The reason I My name's Courtney. I'm going to help Dr. Pretty. And also. Coordinator. All right, so we're here to talk about getting a tooth out, and then you're interested in getting a couple implants. Yeah, he you know, he talked about a sinus leak. Okay. <laughs> so what happens over time is our sinus leak is kind of So what happens is we just kind of bump the sinus up, and we put some bone up there to hold them back up, and then we can get the implant. Good. Okay. Yeah. Where's the bone come from? It is cadaver bone. Oh, okay. So you, you don't have to shave it off someplace else. Mm -mm. Nope. All right. We just rehydrate it and pack it in there. Sounds good. Okay. Has this tooth been hurting you at all? Yes. Okay. How it long is. has it been hurting you? Um, it, it's, what would you say? I, I want to say since her doctor appointment, the dental appointment because he started digging in there. Okay. And that's when it started. Okay. When was that? Which was, let's see, that was like the 19th? I think. Of January? Yeah. Okay. So just for the last couple weeks? Yeah. Okay. And did Dr. Say, did he put you on antibiotics for this tooth? No. And are you allergic to anything? No. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Perfect. Let me get your x-ray pulled up here. Okay. It'll be just a few minutes. That's well, okay. Hopefully not a few minutes. Hopefully it'll <laughs> go quicker. I would love to be able to go to sleep for this. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm a sissy. Nah. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is the little guy he's talking about. Okay. He's hanging out up there. Okay. Yeah. And the referral said that he wants to do two implants, one here and one here. Okay. Okay. We'll have Dr. Pretty look and see what he's thinking. Okay. Um, sometimes we can get the implant in when we take the tooth out. Mm-hmm. But 
this tooth has a pretty good infection on the root of it. At the very end. Is that what I'm feeling? Can you interrupt real quick? Yeah, so it looks like there's a little abscess at the bottom of this tooth, okay? So like Is that what's hurting? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we can we can go about it two separate ways, okay. but the way that Dr. Pretty is more than likely going to say we have to do this is take the tooth out, get that infection cleaned up, and then we pack bone graft and let you heal for three and a half months, okay? okay. With wanting to do implants further back in this area where you've already, where you're already missing teeth. Okay. okay? There isn't a very, there's not a lot of bone back there. Right. Okay. So we'll have to talk to him. That's a pretty big surgery. If okay. we want to put implants back there, it's going to probably require a pretty large bone graft. Okay. Okay. But I think it should be doable. Think okay. So. I think so. We'll have him just double check and see. Okay. Um, because ultimately he's the one who gets to make that call. Okay. Okay. But yeah, he. We would definitely have to kind of just bulk that sinus up and hold it up with some bone. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Hang out just a few minutes. I'm gonna go grab him and then he'll come in and talk to you guys. Do you have any okay. specific um, questions? I really don't. It's um, kind of you may know. I'm, I'm sorry, baby. Go. No, that's it. You know, I was just curious about the, uh, uh, of course, the coverage on medical on the medical side of it, um, and we're. Uh, What's the name of the coverage we have? I mean, we're Medicare with United. It's Medicare Advantage with United. Okay. If I wanted to find out, you know, a balance of what something like this costs us, with regards to uh, the total cost and what cover insurance would cover and what would not be covered, how would I go about that? So what I will do is I will put a treatment plan together for you from start to finish. Okay. So that would include the extraction, all the bone grafting, the implants everything to get her totally fixed up up here mm -hmm. i would give that to you by the end of this appointment the girls run it against your insurance and they are able to go over and answer all of those questions for you thank you today yeah okay so that's yep. great. all right great thank you yeah i do know some medical medicare plans are better with coverage than others i know some of them have sure. no implant coverage okay. which mm -hmm. is pretty standard even in like dental like delta dental Mm -hmm. Some of those before, plants, they don't yeah. cover the actual implant part, but they cover more towards like the crowns mm -hmm. to restore these. Right. Okay. okay. That right. Makes sense. So we would do this surgery, and then after you heal for three and a half, four months, we release you back to your dentist, and he's the one who puts the crowns on there for you. Oh, okay. Okay. okay so I don't know if you want to get pricing from him as far as what the crowns would be, because that's separate from us. Okay. When you say crowns, okay. is that a complete tooth? Yes, so okay. this is the implant down here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then your dentist will put this little healing, this little abutment on here, mm -hmm. which acts as like a little post, you know, when you get a crown and they drill your tooth down. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he makes the crown that fits on top. So it's a, okay. a three-parter. Okay. So you do that? We do just uh, the implant part. After the implant's in and you get home? Is that something that goes in and out normally with use, or is that just stay in all the time? It stays. Okay. Yeah. All righty. All righty. He will be right in, okay? Thank you, Courtney. You're welcome. Thanks. You got to feel about that with the tooth out, first of all. Because that's what's hurting so much. You know. And then, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, we're at a doctor. He's going to tell us what he can do, and we can take that information, and uh, there's other doctors out there if we think that we want to look at any other alternatives or what might be out there. It's always open. But if you just as well just get it over with and do this. Yeah, it was. Okay, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right. And it took me long enough to find this place for Medicare. So that's what's hurting. Abscess. That makes sense. So you probably want to get to that pretty soon. Yeah, I'll do it as soon as I can. As soon as they can do it.
Nice smile, Larry. While we're waiting for him, if you just want to kind of work on oh, these yes, for me. Sure. That's okay. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Hello, sir. How are you? Hey. How are you? Okay. How are you? I'm Dr. Pretty. Nice to meet you guys. Nice so, to meet you, um, too. We have a little root tip at number 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're talking about possibly doing some implants at two sites 12 and 13 i mean we could look at going if we're doing an implant bridge going back even farther because you have dentition all the way back on the lower left what does that mean uh, you know, in you plain teeth, language you have teeth all the way back on okay the lower left. okay so um so okay if i take a video while you talk sure. about yeah that helps me remember. Okay. Let me just look at everything else. It looks like it's Yeah, it's really been hurting, as she says. I think it was Courtney, right? Yeah. Yeah, she was talking about some time to get address the abyss of uh, the abyss. But to address that, and then maybe three weeks, come back. If three months. Three months. I mean, wow. Um. So, if we're going to be doing implants at twelve and thirteen, uh -huh. which is right next to each other here, and then another one right here, right? right. Then. Yes, I would. Um, what I would do is, I would bone graft this whole site, okay. even the spot that doesn't have a tooth. Okay. I would take out the tooth, graft it, the socket, mm -hmm. and then come up here up front and put more bone graft down the round. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other option is. Um, I take out this tooth, graft this area. We plan on just doing one implant. And then we come back here in the back. This is where it could get a little tricky. Yeah. So. Do you think I should just get one implant? Would that make more sense? No, I'm actually saying you get two implants just farther apart. Oh, okay. okay. But you, you're going to need, so here it is all in the back. Okay. Where your, where your first molar used to be. Mm -hmm. Right? So now you're going to have teeth all along the top. Nice. Now what this is going to entail. By the way, but put a number on that. A teeth all in front. How so about 12. Uh -huh. It's the one implant in the front. Yeah. Thirteen to two of them taken out. Right. Fourteen would be the next implant. Okay. So it'd be an implant bridge. I wouldn't be doing yeah. three implants. We'd be doing one, one with a bridge. A bridge. Okay. Like this. Okay. 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 So it gives you like an extra tooth with first. Can you show me that again? What that looks like? That bridge. Two implants. Okay. So. However, for us to do this, you see this whole dark area here. Mm -hmm. You see the implant that is going up into the dark area. This is air. This is your sinus, your maxillary sinus. Okay. Your bone in the maxillary sinus, this is the floor of it. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's all the bone you have right here. Okay. Not a lot. Not much. So what I have to do to be able to get that taken care of is what's called a sinus lift. Okay. A sinus lift. Um, can you draw? I don't know if I can draw on this or not. So, a sinus lift, I would go. This is not very good. Mm, it's not either. 
my note looks even more hard to see. Okay, so your bone level goes about back this way, okay? okay. And your maxillary sinus is that is that space filled with air mm -hmm. up here in this area where that implant would be up into it, be up in just air. Okay. Well, so I would go make a incision all along, because I am going to be taking out the uh, one tooth, mm -hmm. but I would make an incision that goes all the way mm -hmm. back along the crest of your ridge, mm -hmm. and I would pull all this up. I would expose your bone up here, up here in this area, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is that air filled, up behind that bone there's air. So what I do is I make a little window in the bone, expose the sinus membrane, I push it out of the way, mm -hmm. and I pack bone up above this implant. So this implant will then have bone like this, okay. in your sinus. Right. Okay. So then this has to heal because you don't have a whole lot of bone here to engage this implant. So this has to heal okay. for about five months, and then I go back, and then I put the implant in it, and I would put the implant in up here. Okay. Then that has to heal. All of that has to heal for an, um, the implants for another three to four months, okay. and then you would go back and get the bridge. Okay. That's that's the other option. Okay. Um, and it's just up to you. The, the benefit of this one is that you would get more teeth to chew with. You get a bit of first molar occlusion. That's where you get the majority of your chewing function from, your first molar. Um, downside to it is, you know, with a bridge, you have to floss underneath the bridge or water pick. Okay. Do you have a lower bridge? Yeah. So you exactly know it's the same right. thing. Okay. Um, other downside, probably to the other, to this second option would be it would it would probably be more costly. I don't really. I let my financial co co um, coordinators talk about that type of stuff because I don't really. Okay. When it comes to insurance, I don't know what your insurance does and doesn't cover. Right. But you know the sinus lift would be an additional cost right okay makes sense though but um again trying to get you that extra tooth right do you water. think that I, I should do that get the extra tooth it would we're essentially mimicking what you got over on the other side the just other with side. an implant like from here back mm -hmm. that would be what we're doing except with implants okay all in all, it's be about ten to twelve months probably before you get the the crown, okay. the bridge, just to have a while for all this to heal. Okay. okay. Um. That's on this side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. She has a history of sinus on that side. Sinuses look. I mean, look at this. There's nothing. There is nothing wrong with her sinus on that side at all. It is clear as day. And it has been clear lately. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing there. That, so there is one, one caveat. If we are doing the sinus lift, and you, if you choose to go that route, and on day of surgery, if you're having sinus issues, um, and you're feeling congested, let me know. Okay. If you're, if you're having a sinus infection thing, let me know, because I want to look. Okay. I'll, I'll scan it real fast and see, because if you have a ton of fluid up there, I, will, I won't do your procedure that day. I'll push it because I want your sinus to be nice and clear. Nice and clear. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. And she does want to go to sleep. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. You're welcome. <laughs> she doesn't. Okay. Had a stroke in 2010. No, no deficits from the stroke? No. Letting your hematopoulos. You see your primary care doctor pretty routinely? I, for my well checkup, yeah, that's about it. And everything looked good. It did. Don't drink, don't smoke, no diabetes. So yeah. Okay. okay. You check out there, so I can put you to sleep. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Let me just take a quick look here. Okay. 
and a doctor uh, the schedule about getting the ad- abyss uh, or the abscess excuse uh-huh. me addressed and get yeah. get uh, that because she's had a lot of pain with that it's bothering you currently yes it is okay I can put you on some antibiotics okay it'll give you a little bit of time to think about things if you like Okay, three days. It'll start to help. Yeah, it, it, it might take two to three days. Okay. And then so, uh, what's yeah. your schedule look like as far as addressing the abscess and pulling it to? Well, I would do I would, so the, I yeah. would, I would do all this together. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay, yeah. I'm with when you. When the tooth comes out and the abscess comes out, I would go and get out the tooth, clean it up, yeah. and then bone graft that site and do the sinus lift in okay. the back if you'd like. Okay, like all right. Okay? That's yeah. Like. So I'll give you these antibiotics to sort of hold you over, sort of get that abscess calmed down. Okay? That would probably help, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, baby. Let me take a quick look here. Open for me. Oh, sorry, I'm going to blind you. Okay. So we have uh, number 13 is curiously fractured as a gingiva. Is that tender up there? Uh-huh. Yeah. There's... It looks like uh, a tender palpation on the buccal aspect. Um, one last thing, open wide. And close down. The inner occlusal space is about six millimeters in the posterior left. Maybe you just know there's a, a dentalist. 14, 12 and 14. Well, that sounds great. Okay. So what, what we'll do, um, put in the treatment plan for socket press of uh, 12, or uh, 13, I mean, um, and here I ask. Will you be doing the uh, surgery, doctor? Yes. Okay. Vertical? Lateral. Lateral. And that includes bone, uh, not a membrane. Okay. Just do membrane. Yep. Just a six or seven on top three again with a on the treatment plan that we are going to give you we put bone grafting with the implant placement as well okay okay that is added on there not because i think that we're going to need it i do it as a just in case i want you guys to have worst case scenario because healing can be unpredictable and what happens if we do some grafting and not all the graft takes okay and then we need to do a little bit of bone graft with the implant you know i mean I wish everything was 100%, but with the body healing and healing, sometimes it just, just isn't isn't. that way. Yeah. So you're taking the risk out by doing what? So I, I'm putting, um, taking the risk out. Well, I just said, it, because you don't know how these things heal, all I, right, it's how you, how you deal with the anomaly or what could go this way or that way, you suggested a direction just then. Well, I'm saying I we go ahead and give you worst case scenario for the treatment plan. Okay. So you're going to see bone grafting again with the implant. If, if it goes bad. But or, it's going to be included on your thing today. Okay. And that can go away. That okay. can fall off your treatment plan if you don't need it. Okay. okay. Um, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. I would do four units of sedation, um, about an hour. Um, okay. Do you have any questions? <laughs> hey, 
know. We got a lot of faith in you, man. I mean, it's like you know, you got to, you know, that's that's how we that's how we roll, man. That's right. You I, know, I don't know all the details, but I pick up the vibes and I look at you guys yeah. and how much people care and. You it's know. A, it is a larger procedure, you know, the sinus lift, the incisions that I have to make to get up this mm -hmm. high. That makes you sense. know, so expect some swelling. Um, puffy cheek sometimes, puffy eye, sometimes even black eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it can happen. Uh, not a lot, but it can. Um, okay. Stitches, they don't fall out. I take them out at three weeks. Okay. That's good. You're gonna be chewing on it's nice you have this whole other side to chew on, but that's what Isn't you're gonna nice? do. <laughs> you're gonna chew all on that other side and I'm gonna touch the left side. Right. Okay. I like that part. That's okay. Good. It's it makes sense to me and I'm glad you're doing it. We are doing sedation for this part. The other part, the implant placement, I don't have we aren't doing sedation for it unless you want it. Okay. Okay? The implant placement is usually pretty easy. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. I will let Courtney finish up with you and then... Um, yeah, she's I'll flipping our, through the screens our there. Our financial coordinator will come in and chat with you, okay? That's All right. Great. Make sure you add the uh, um, antibiotic. Yeah. I'm going to need this. Thank you all. Uh, Thank seven you. Days. Yeah, we... That's supposed to be upper left, right? For the lateral. You can do 14, that's fine too. It's, it's okay. I didn't know if it mattered with the No. Okay. No, nope. I actually prefer to match up with the other, like the membrane that you did. Yeah, that's why I changed it. I like that. Okay. All right. Just Thank second. you so much. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank All you. Right. Take care. Thank Thanks. you. All righty. All right. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So, I have a treatment plan in there, okay? okay? It might take the girls just a few minutes to sure. kind of get everything in order. Okay? Right. You have to do that. Um, okay. Do you want to schedule? Do you want to talk with them, go home, kind of mull it over? It's a, it's a lot to take in. It is, but I've been waiting for a while, so I think okay. I'd like to go ahead and schedule. What do you think? That's, that's your call, babe. I think I'm All right. Well, before we get that done, what pharmacy do you like to use? Uh, it's the CVS on Mid Rivers and Mexico. Okay. I do have the phone number if you want. That's okay. I have to look it up by address. So. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I wish it was as simple as putting in the phone <laughs> It should be a Mid Rivers address. The standalone one, correct? Yeah. Yeah. The one you can drive through. Well, I wish you didn't have to go through all that, <laughs> right? Yeah. I wish it was just a molar and a cavity, but it isn't, so That's okay. uh, we face it and, uh, and, we, and we go through it. We get through it and we're going to be okay. We got the right doctor. All right, so let's get you scheduled. Okay. Is there certain days or times that work better? Um, maybe yeah. early afternoon, like around one. While we're going to sleep, oh. we want you first thing in the morning. Okay. Kay. Just because I don't want you going that long without eating. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, the 14th, I know which is not ideal because it's Valentine's Day. But we could do the 14th at um, 7.30. Okay, what do you think? Huh? Sounds right for you. Well, what day is that? That is a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday? Okay, and uh, do that in the morning and you'll be done by the afternoon, right? Yeah. It'll okay. be about a two hour, per hour and a half, two hours. Okay. okay. Just because it's a lot. And this yeah. is the one where, yeah. We'll take the tooth out, we'll open all of that up, we'll lift that sinus up, we'll pack all that bone, right. we'll close you up, okay? okay. You'll, it's going to be a lot of stitches. And that's okay. about three months. And pain medication, you're going to have some pain yes. stuff. Yes, you will get um, a high-dose ibuprofen, okay? You'll get a narcotic pain medication, 
You'll also get more antibiotics at that time, which you we need you to take okay. in completion. So if any of the antibiotics start to mess with your stomach, have any sort of GI issues, call us and we'll change them. Okay. Because we don't want we need you to finish them so that your body right. doesn't try to reject the bone graft and then get infection and right. we don't want any of that. Okay. And we're getting an antibiotic today for the pain? Yes, I did okay. send out seven days. So that will calm the tooth down for right now. Okay, good. And it buys you a little bit of time. Yeah. But it'll kick back up if you don't get it taken care of. Okay. Okay? okay? Yeah. So that is about two weeks from today would be... That'd be great. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Does 7.30 work for you? It's early, I know. Is that the latest I can get? Oh, or I don't care. I don't care. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Seven thirty is a five o'clock or in the morning for us. <laughs> so the day before, make sure you are staying really hydrated. Lots of Gatorade, water, Pedialyte. Just get those electrolytes in you, okay? Right, right. Because we don't want you to have anything to eat or drink for twelve hours prior. So right. eat dinner that night, and then you can have a drink till like midnight. Something okay. clear. Okay. okay. And then nothing after that. That's it. Okay. You can take your medications in the morning. Okay. But just a small sip of water. I just use a sip. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have you scheduled. Tammy or Paige, they'll be in in just a moment, and then we'll get you guys out of here, okay? Okay, honey. Thank you so much. We stay in here? We go out to yeah. the... Yeah, you just hang out in here, okay? Okay. okay? And then you can give that to them. Are you done? Almost. Right. Last, okay. last page. Okay, as soon as you're done, just give that to them, okay? All right. All right. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Thank you again. Okay. You're welcome. I apologize. Okay, what's up? So, today should be picked up by your intern. Okay. The consultation. Next visit for the extraction, the bone graft, the membrane, the blood concoction we do to help aid in that healing and regeneration. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other stuff you talked about that really confuses me. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I was just shaking the my sedation. head. Yes. <laughs> the sedation, what he needs to do to get this done. The sedation. And then that IV cocktail to get you under. Okay. We're looking at about 5,119. Total. Okay. okay, outside of... Uh, no, no, that's just for that one visit. Right. Okay. Does the... Um, uh, would we expect any compensation from Medicare? They are going to be picking up $872.29. Okay. So we're looking at a little over four grand there, right? Or four grand. Oh no, right. the, the 5,119. Includes that. Yes. Okay. Then picking up the 872. Okay. okay. And then about three to four months after that visit, it's gonna be 647. And that's for the CT scan and the intraoral scan that Courtney's gonna do. That's gonna make the surgical guide for the implant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then about four weeks after that, home the implant placement. Okay. This is where it's going to get a little bit more. And how much is that? So, implant pa placement with the potential, we do worst case scenario, the potential for more bone grafting, if we need it, is going to be 6042 Okay? If we don't need that bone grafting, those are going to drop off and it's going to be about 5000 Not much difference, though. No. Not much. Right. But we get worst case scenario. Right. Just in case, I appreciate that. So, and then finally, about three to four months after that implant placement, we're going to do a stability procedure. It just makes sure that that implant is as rock solid as it can be before that crown goes on there with the dentist. Okay. Okay, and that's, that's 392. Okay. All right. So all in here, grand total, is going to be 12,200. Okay. okay. That's about what I figured. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. Mm -hmm. 
Is there is there any way you can pay it on time, like a monthly payment? Beforehand, yes. After the fact, no. Okay. Like you can pay up and say you wanted to make payments on this, the five thousand one hundred ninety. Okay. We would take payment increments up until when you get that done, as long as it's paid off on that day. Okay. But once you have the treatment done, we don't take payments after it. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it, well, you, you did good. It makes sense. Okay, good. Right. And it, you, you deal with this stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what kind of a scenario do would we fit if you're familiar with the Medicare and the scenario of a donut or anything that you know people can get uh, in a direction for paying things off and what the insurance can take care of or does take care of uh, the I think what I'm doing is there a, any possibility of getting insurance that would help pay this at this time there might be but you have to look at a are we in network with that particular insurance mm -hmm. we don't we're not in network with Aetna Medicare we're not in network with Humana Medicare we're not in network with Essence so mm -hmm. it's really only United Healthcare Medicare that we're in network with okay and a medic we're having issues with Aetna Medicare right now uh -huh. is that industry-wide do you think no Okay. Probably, but I haven't dealt with it. Okay, all right. Um, and the risk of that being is that saying that that may not be available as well. Right. right. They may not have implant coverage. Mm -hmm. Their coverage may not be as good. You can look at options mm -hmm. because sometimes different plans within United Healthcare don't have implant coverage. Mm. So. Yeah. Those are all factors. Got it. I think that answered my question. Yeah, so. Okay. All right. Miss Georgia, hon, I'm going to have you come up here and sign this. This isn't going to commit you to anything. Okay. It's just going to let whoever might look at it know that we went over it. Front with me, and I'll get you. What do we owe you today? Nothing. Nothing today? Okay. Nothing today. Insurance should pick up today. Yeah, okay. All right. And then I'll get you copies of everything else, okay? Thank you. What, I know, Courtney, what's your name? Paige. Paige, okay. Thank you, Paige. You're welcome, hon. Okay. Courtney and Paige. Okay. Um, I think this is everything. Uh, if you want to take a quick look, let us know. They said there wasn't anything due to pay for. What are we yeah. You could do me one favor. Sure. Just put your signature in each one of these five boxes and today's okay. date, which is the 29th. One, okay. two, three, four, five. And then, did you need a pen or anything? Yes. Okay. And today's date being the 30th? Today's date is the 29th. Okay. I'm going to use your restroom real quick. All right.